never believe this. Do you think he'd escape from the zoo? Must be my map reading again. What's <laughs> <laughs> elephant doing in the river? That's what I want to know. Hope he doesn't sing. It's not as if we're in the middle of Africa. Hello? Oh. Hi. Hello. Don't forget behind his ears. Of course not. Very sensitive an elephant's ears. Hey, where do you lot spring from? Them your caravans? Yeah, they're beauties. Very nice indeed. Is that a friendly elephant? Of course he's friendly. Come over and see. Really? Come on. Hello then. What's her name? Rani. Is she yours? Oh, yeah. She belongs to the circus. Oh. Thanks for her pet, did you? Oh. You work for a circus? Screw up with it. Yours camp here for a summer rest. How smashing. I'd love to work in a circus. What's your name? Nobby. What's yours? George. I'm Julian. Hi, I'm Dick. Anne. What are you lot doing then? Oh, we're on holiday. We're going to camp up in those hills. Well, you won't reach them tonight. But it's only a few miles. It's quite a haul up them roads. You shouldn't ask your poor horses to tackle that at the end of a hot day. I suppose so, yeah. Tell you what, why don't you camp over by the stream? It's a nice spot there. Yeah, right, we right, will. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Come yeah, on, gang. Right. See you, Ronnie. Just come and look for me after you've settled in, and I'll show you around the circus. That's for Nobby. Yeah. See you later then. Yeah. Bye. 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 This is fantastic. Keep on working then. Oh. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Good dog. Well, the horses are settled. They've earned it today. So have we. Why don't you hurry up and make the tea, Anne? Well, you haven't even lit the fire yet. I think we should ask Nobby over for tea. Then he could tell us all about life at a circus. Julian, do you think they have lions or anything? I expect so. Why? Well, I don't like the thought of sleeping near lions. <laughs> Come on, Dick. Just think how the poor lions will feel. <sighs> Wait for us! Come on, then. Oh, hurry up! I'd rather have a dog like Timmy than a brother like Dick any day. At least he doesn't leave dirty form ups everywhere. No, he makes terrible jokes instead. Stop <laughs> <laughs> Chimpanzee. Well, come on, I'll show you around. Yeah. Do you want to open these caravans? That's right, that's my uncle's there. And who's this funny little one? I bet it's yours. Hey, you! Don't touch that. What's going on, Art? Go on, clear off! Go out of here, these friends of yours. It's all right, Uncle, they're not doing any harm. Get them off the camp now! We don't want nosy kids playing around here. Go on, clear off. There's a lot of you. You heard him. Move. And keep that dog off. It's your fault. He only barks at people he doesn't like. Oh, does he? Well, I'm warning you. If I ever see that dog again, it'll be the worst for him. That's right. Go away and stay away. Pongo wants you to come and have tea with us. Okay. Come on, drink it. What about us going swimming tomorrow? I'll come for you after I finish my chores. If I can get away from Tiger Dan. Who? Tiger Dan. That's my uncle. People call him that on the account of his temper. Oh, and who's the other one? The thin one? Lou, our chief acrobat. Well, look, I must go. I've got to help with the animals. Come along, Pongo. Hi, Pongo. Bye, 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 Bye,
I hope he doesn't get into trouble. Here, where have you been? There's a lot of work to do. Just having a cup of tea, that's all. Cup of tea? And who, may I ask, has been inviting you to afternoon tea? Well, it's kids. They asked me over. Over? What do you mean, over? The camp's over by the stream. The what? Here, let me have a look. <laughs> look where they are. If that was Nobby's idea, I'd take my belt to him. No, 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 better leave it. He might smell a rat. It's time he learned to do what he's told. Calm down, Tiger. I know how to deal with this. We'll, we'll, we'll come back first thing in the morning, all right? Yeah, blade safe. Be safe. We better split though. Timmy? Timmy? What's up? Get up! Who's that? Get him off! Get this dog off! Timmy, down! When you'll get this little dog, you'll get the clear up out of here! And shut that dog up! What are you doing snooping around our caravan? Now listen to me, you young whippersnapper! What? last night. I was scared stiff. Me too. I just hope I don't see those. No such luck. Here they come. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? Just came to say sorry about last night's little upset. More of a misunderstanding, really, wasn't it? Was it? Of course. Didn't know you were here, did we? No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> we'll try to forget it. Of course you will, I'm sure. Nice kids like you don't hold grudges, do you? Are you, um, thinking of staying here long, eh? Why, it's not interfering with you, is it? No, no, of course not. Stay as long as you like. Nice to see you enjoying yourselves, isn't it, Tiger? Uh, yes. There was uh, one thing, though. Uh, we think you'll be more comfortable up on the hill. Very good camping site up here. Very popular. Is it? A lot of people use it, do they? Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. We'd rather stay here. Much more peace and quiet, I should think. Now, look here. See what you mean, see what you mean, don't we, Tiger? Just thought we'd tell you about it, that's all. Come on, Tiger. Time to get the animals' dindins ready. See you later. <laughs> We've been talking to those friends of yours. Nice kids they are. Why don't you take them down the pond for a swim? Well, you said I wasn't to leave the camp. Ah, so I did, but seeing as you've been such a good lad and working so hard, I don't see why you shouldn't have a little bit of relaxation. You know, the afternoon off, son. Can I really, Tiger? Of course. Go on, then buzz off. I want to change my mind. Unprotected. Timmy will guard, though, won't he? Oh, well, I suppose I'll survive. Let's get the costumes. I'll put the fire out. What do we do now? They've left that wretched dog. I thought we might have trouble with that brute. Look what I got for his dindins. And a little seasoning. Be thoughtful. <laughs> Come on, we'll circle around and get behind him. <laughs> Enjoy your din din. <laughs> Oh, must be 
against them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy! 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 Something's the matter. <laughs> came by and gave it to Timmy. Then why didn't he eat it? He's trained not to take food from strangers. Pretty strange. Barker! Look! Barker, what's the matter, boy? Barker! What's up? I don't know. It might be the meat. It may be poison. Nobby, what can we do? I don't know. Look. I'll take him up to camp. Maybe we can do something for him there. I'll come with you. No, you stay here. Someone wanted to kill Timmy. I bet it was Lou and Tiger Dad. We don't know that, George. Who else? And you heard Lou threaten Timmy. Why, though? It doesn't make sense. Hey, look at this. It's a stud off Tiger Dan's belt. Yes, I recognise it. So it was them. Right, that's it. They're up to something, and in the morning we're going to find out just what it is. Morning. He's pretending he's not watching us. The bus will be here any minute. Come on, you lot, it's coming. swimming until late. We've got to go into the village. Oh. See ya. Nobby looked very miserable. He must think we're mean for not asking about poor Barker. Don't worry. We'll explain later. Lou took him what I said, all right. Yeah, good. <laughs> we're out of sight now. Uh, could you stop here, please? Right, be back by six and keep your fingers crossed. Good luck, Julian. Be careful. Watch out. I do hope you'll be all right. So do I. It's all clear. Right, let's get on with it. Like I said, we'll have to move it. Oh, here come the feet. Right, you get in the shafts. Okay, ready? Go! Come on, Tiger, leave him. I'll give you some block when I get you back up there. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Congo did well, didn't you, Congo? Great. Nobby! 
Hi. How's Barker? He's very sick. Oh, Lucy is nursing him. She's our fortune teller. She knows a lot about animals. I do hope he get well. Yeah. Anything happened, Julian? Yes, quite a lot. Then they appeared again, and I saw them making off with these sacks. Then Nobby came. I came to warn you. They're desperate to get you away from here. That's very strange. How could they have disappeared so quickly? It must have something to do with the moving of the caravan. Then let's do the same. And maybe it'll give us a clue. <laughs> That'll about do it, I think. <sighs> right, what are we looking for, exactly? I don't know. Hey, look! <laughs> look at that! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Oh, darkness and tunnels and spiders. Oh, shut up. I've left Pongo behind. He'll find his way back to the circus. OK, come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Spooky. Let's try this one. Phosphorescent. It's like magic. Look! Shoo! A tiara! This lot must be worth a fortune. And I bet I know how we got there. Luke can climb anything. I've seen him shin up a drain pipe in no time. And Tiger Dad picks up the loot from below. Pretty good team. We'd better tell the police about this lot. Come on. Okay, I'll give you a hand. It's no good, Julian. We're trapped. <laughs> Go away, you horrible little monkey. Go on. What are we going to do now? Perhaps there's another way out of the cave. Timmy, what's up? Have to hang on here until he gets help. Don't worry, we're quite safe. Make a sign of him. I knew I should have let Nobby look after that chimp. He'll come out when he's hungry. Let's get those kids. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I use your telephone, please? It's terribly urgent. They're coming back. Bobby. Bobby, where are you? Come on, Nobby, and you have a lot. Now you're in there. Come on out, a lot of you. We've got the chimp. 
If you don't come out, it'll be the worse for him. What are we going to do? Pongo. All right, don't hurt Pongo. We're coming out. Where's Pongo? I wish I knew. You tricked us. That's right. And you fell for it, stupid. <laughs> there he is. You're smart, don't you? Right, lad. I'd better go in and see what's happened to your friends. Shall I no, no, no. You stay where you are. Constable. Oh, well. Oh, right, right, Timmy, you can leave him there. Come on, you. Good morning, Timmy. Well, 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 well done, Timmy. Gina! Oh, golly. What have you been up to? Glad you could get here, Professor Kieran. Oh, hello. I let you go on a holiday alone, and what happens? Back in trouble again. I don't know what to say. Well, I can see why you let these youngsters go off on their own. They certainly know how to look after themselves. But we've been after those jewel thieves for over a year. There'll probably be a reward. A reward? A reward? <laughs> Who on earth is Pongo? There he is! Pongo! Looks as though he's come to collect the reward. Yes, I'm a bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>